Nowadays, that whole idea of watching drama, you know, I think very excitingly is changing substantially. I can't believe the size of the TV screens now in people's homes. I found it very exciting to be a part of that transformation. The work that we did on 1923 is so huge and epic in scale. You've probably been on bigger movie sets than I have, although I've been in some big ones. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been on as big a kind of set yeah. as we had in 1923. Now, part of the draw is the degree of ambition, and I think that's what used to distinguish television from films. But this is a very ambitious project, and the writing is the draw for me. Mm. It's the story that we're telling. There's a lot of difference between the way that this family is living in 1923 and the way we live today. All of the modern conveniences. But what we're missing is the is the struggle. As research, I read an autobiography of a pioneer woman, and you realized how death was in their lives constantly. The uh, average span of life was 37 years. Wow. The average uh, American made a wage of somewhere between $200 and $400 a year. Part of the profit of, of seeing 1923 is to see where we've come from and how we got there. There's no way to prepare. <laughs> no, you prepare. just have to launch No, in. you just do it. Yeah. You do it. Harrison's it was a great amazing. writer. Well, she was great to see throw herself into the physical action. Yeah, and, and, uh, and I had to learn how to drive a buggy. That was my sort of big challenge. So I literally can now drive a buggy. I mean, what we've got now that we didn't have in 1923. Oh, well, you know what? I'm, I'm very appreciative of oh. Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate you loaning them to me on an occasional basis.